Geek and Point 3 and 3, where we bring you three financial planning and investment tips in three minutes to help you take control of your finances, gain peace of mind, and make better investment decisions. I'm Robin Gerke. And I'm Kobe Kress, and today we're talking about the dangers of inflation and tips for protecting yourself against the loss of purchasing power over time. Inflation, in its simplest sense, is an increase in the price of goods and services. And although a small amount of inflation is good, high levels of inflation can be quite damaging and can erode the value of your hard-earned dollars. With that in mind, our first tip for investors in the face of higher inflation is to keep a long-term perspective. Since inflation can reduce your purchasing power over time, it may make sense to own at least some stocks in your portfolio. Historically, stocks have proven themselves to be a stronger hedge against inflation by having greater long-term investment returns, especially when compared to bonds. Robin, what's our second tip for investors? Our second tip is to take a look at your expenses, such as any outstanding liabilities on a mortgage or car loan. In an inflationary environment, it may make sense to lock in expenses with a fixed rate loan by refinancing your current loan. Fixed rate loans provide greater certainty of your expenses not increasing, even if inflation rises, especially since one of the tools used to combat inflation is to raise interest rates. By locking in a lower rate, you will be protected if higher rates materialize. Kobe, what is our final tip? Our final tip for investors out there is if you're fearful of inflation, consider purchasing investments that are specifically designed to help hedge against a loss of purchasing power. One example of these types of investments are treasury inflation protected securities or TIPS, which are treasury bonds backed by the US government that have their interest payments adjusted based on inflation. These can be a good addition to a well-diversified portfolio. And as always, we recommend you speak to an advisor before making any decisions or changes to your portfolio. There you have it. Three tips in three minutes to help you take control of your finances. Thanks for watching. If you like these videos, please click subscribe and we'll see you again soon.